which of the following are linear combinations of u, which is equal to 1, 1, 2, transpose, and v, which is equal to 1, 3, minus 1, transpose. And there are uh, three to decide. Well, first let's understand the problem. What does it mean to be a linear combination? Well, that would mean that it's um, the sum of some multiples of u and v. So a linear combination of u and v is a times u plus b times v for some a and b in R. That's the definition of a linear combination. Alright, well now that we know, we can do part A. So what we want is A of U plus B of V to be equal to uh, 0, 0, 0. It's a column because it says transpose just here, like that. Oh, well, that's easy. I could just do 0 of u plus 0 of v is equal to 0, 0, 0. So therefore, 0, 0, 0 is a linear combination of u and v. And if I think about it, just learning something from this, I could um, write anything, um, any vectors at all. I, zero vector would be a linear combination of them because of the same idea. Well, that's good. Let's do the next part. Okay, for part B, I would like A of U plus B of V to be equal to uh, 1, 1, 1. Alright, well that would be A of 1, 1, 2 plus B of 1, 3, minus 1 is equal to 1, 1, 1. And so that would be A, A, 2A plus b, 3b minus b is equal to 1, 1, 1. And uh, that would be a plus b, a plus 3b, 2a minus b is equal to 1, 1, 1. All right. And so that would be A plus B is equal to 1, A plus 3B is equal to 1, and 2A minus B is equal to 1. Okay, so I know how to solve that. I've just got three equations in two unknowns. I could write that as a matrix. So I could just write that as uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2 minus 1, 1, and row reduce that. And that would um, solve the equations uh, by um, row operations. But let's just notice, look, this is, this is u. It's the vector 1, 1, 2. And this is v. And this is my answer vector. So I just have to stick them in as columns in this matrix and row reduce, and that'll tell me what the answers are. So Maybe next time I'll just start there instead of doing all of this working. In fact, I might just rewrite um, this page just so that we start at the right place. B. So AU plus BV equals 1, 1, 1. And I'd go straight to doing U, which is 1, 1, 2. V. Uh, which is 1, 3, minus 1, and the answer 1, 1, 1, and row reducing. So, let's see. I want an identity, matri uh, an identity matrix column just here, and I want a 1 here. I've already got a 1, so all I need to do is subtract 
uh, that top row from the others uh, to get zeros below it. So I would go row, sorry, my new row 2 would be equal to my old row 2 minus row 1. That would get me a 0 here. And my new row 3 would be equal to my old row 3 minus 2 of row 1. And that would get me a 0 here. So let's see. I haven't changed row 1. That will give me this. And row 3 minus 2 of row 1 would give me 0 minus 3 minus 1. OK, so now let's see, I've got my column of the identity matrix here. I'd like the next column of an identity matrix there, and I want a 1 here. So I would need to divide that row by 2. So my new row 2 would be a half of row 2. Excellent. So I haven't changed row 1 or row 3. And my new row 2 is half of my old row 2. Excellent. And now let's see what we've got. I've got a 1 there. Now I want 0 here and here. So my new row 1 would be row 1 minus row 2. And my new row 3 would be row 3 uh, plus 3 of row 2. And that would guarantee me getting a 0 here and here. So let's see. I haven't changed row 2. Row 1 minus row 2. 1 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Sorry, 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. Um, oh, sorry, that's supposed to be a 0. And so 0 minus 0 is 0, minus 3 minus 1, uh, sorry, minus 3 plus 3 times 1 is 0. And um, minus 1 plus 3 times 0 is minus 1. And that's pretty much it. I've got my two columns of the identity and I've got no more columns to do. So that's my reduce row echelon form. So let's have a look. Well, to see if there are solutions, I can come down here and look at this bottom row, and we see that I've got 0 plus 0 equals minus 1, which is impossible. So therefore, there are no solutions. Uh, no solutions for A and B. Therefore, 1, 1, 1 is not a linear combination of U and V. All right. So, what's next? Part C. Well, for part C, I think I might just rub out what I've got and change my answers. So for part C, what I want um, is instead of uh, 1, 1, 1 here, I want 1 minus 3, 8. And so instead of 1, 1, 1, oh, sorry. 1 minus 3, 8. And instead of 1, 1, 1 here, I want 1 minus 3, 8. And that will, of course, change my answers to all of this. But it won't change my answers. It won't change my answers to any of this because it's these columns that told me to do these row operations.
So all I have to do is do the same row operations and I will get to the same reduce echelon form on this side and I'll change my answers column to the right thing on this side. So let's do my row operations one at a time. New row 2 is equal to row 2 minus row 1. So my new, I haven't changed this one, so my minus 3 becomes minus 3 minus row 1, which is minus 4. And my new row 3 is row 3 minus 2 of row 1. So my 8 would become 8 minus 2 times 1, which is 6. Next row operation is new row 2 is half of row 2. So I haven't changed rows 1 and 3. And my new row 2 is half of my old row 2. And next I have new row 1 is equal to row 1 minus row 2. So um, that would be 1 minus 2, which would be minus 1. And I haven't changed row 2. New row 3 is row 3 uh, plus 3 of row 2. So 6 plus 3 times minus 2 is 0. So we just did this operation. OK. So now let's see if we've got any solutions. Yes, 0 plus 0 equals 0. That's fine. We just need to read off this to tell me what the solutions are. A is minus 1 and B is minus 2. So we actually have solutions. Excellent. So we have so uh, 1 minus 3, 8 transpose is a linear combination of U and V. In fact, We know actually what the linear combination is. In fact, 1 minus 3, 8 transpose is equal to 1. I think I've done my row operations wrong. Let me go back and I'll show you um, how I did my calculation wrong. Back here, when I was doing this row operation, when I was doing this row operation here, my new row 1 was supposed to be row 1 minus row 2, and I did 1 minus 2, but I should have done 1 minus minus 2, which would have given me 3. So this answer is supposed to be 3. Sorry about that. Just goes to show you what to check your answers as you go. So in fact, it's 3 of you minus 2 of V. And that's the end of the problem.